Kia ora team, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about my very first property that I brought back in 2010. I uh, picked up a small little 3 by one bedroom property in Taumaranui, which is a small little regional town um, in the central North Island of New Zealand. Um, I learned a lot of valuable lessons from this particular purchase. Um, would I do it again? Probably not. But uh, still, moving forward, I picked up a lot of good things that I uh, would not do again uh, when investing in property. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll walk you through now what, how much I paid for it, how much I sold it for, what was all my rent, and sort of all the numbers around that, just to give you a bit of an idea what my thought process was at the time. Um, okay, so I bought this property on the 27th of August um, 2010 for $43,000, New Zealand dollars that is. Um, which was incredibly cheap. I know I didn't have to get a mortgage for this. So I'd scrimped and saved, and I had about fifty thousand dollars in cash, which I then put majority of that into this property. Um, I still had other investments on the uh, outside of this property as well, but predominantly most of my net worth at that time was in this property, um, which yeah, like I said, I purchased for forty three thousand. Um, had to do a little renovation. Me and my brother got stuck into that. Did a little renovation on the property. Um, cost about another four or five thousand dollars. We knocked that over in a couple of weeks, just painting and sort of minor sort of repair work, nothing too structural or anything of that sort of nature. It was a good solid brick state home, so it was a very solid sort of house on about a 600 square metre section, so pretty solid little place. Um, the particular area it was in was pretty rough. I didn't quite realise how rough um, at the time. I thought, oh, it's a cheap property, good return on the rent, why not? Um, anyway, moving forward. So I got the place renovated, um, got it listed as a rental, rented it within a couple of weeks, I think, from memory. Um, it was renting for $150 a week, which was giving me around a grossed up return of 18% per annum um, for the rent return on that property. Once you take away the uh, management fees, the insurance, your rates, and a little bit of uh, minor repairs and whatnot, fixing, I don't know, the oven or the knob fell off the door or something, um, it'd give you around sort of about that 10% net return on money invested which is a great return for a rental property um so yeah i managed to keep it pretty much rented for the majority of the time that uh, that i had that property there was a couple of spaces there in between the tenants where i had to get uh, some w w some work done on the property due to the tenants being pretty hard on the property um especially in the end there was one of when one of the tenants left she left a lot of rubbish and did a lot of damage a lot of holes in walls and carpet was absolutely written off and just made a real mess of the place and that was about a ten thousand dollar um repair bill there on that one um so that was a bit of a shocker um but anyway, got that sort of all fixed up again. And then I ended up selling the property in 2016 for 59,000 uh, New Zealand dollars, that is. Um, so there was about a 37% increase. But a lot of that money over the, over the years that I owned it sort of got sunk back into it um, in those last few years just with the cost of repairs and new carpet and you repainted the whole place and new oven. And it was a whole long list of things that uh, needed to be fixed and replaced. But at the end of the day, it was still a pretty solid property. And if you look at the value of the property today, it would probably be worth sort of around that $120,000, $130,000, uh, which is still not too bad if I'd kept on, kept hold of it. You know, it would probably be sort of sitting around that now today. Um, but I needed the money for another little project that I had going on, a little subdivision project, and I needed that sort of capital for that as the banks didn't want to give me finance. This is a battle that you will find um, if you're going down the road of property investment. Um, Big lessons I learned from this is do your research on the particular area that you're buying, okay? This is this is paramount. Um, what sort of tenants you're going to be getting in? I mean, you never know. It's always a bit of a roll of the dice, but definitely get some good managers in place. I had managers in place, and they did a not too bad a job. Um, they probably could have been a little bit better. So keep on top of your managers as well. Manage your managers. Um, and yeah, sort of look at the look at the street, the whole area that you're investing in, and, and sort of you know, what sort of demographic are my tenants going to be and what are they going to be doing to my property, um, which could affect the returns on that investment. Um, would I do it again? Probably not. Um, but yes, I did learn a lot from this investment, uh, which was great to move forward. So I knew what to look out for a lot more after 
that investment. And, and moving, I haven't had much uh, bad luck with tenants after this property. This was the first, and I know it won't be the last, but uh, it was definitely some good lessons learned, let's say, in this particular property. Um, but that's pretty much all I got for you today, guys. Just a little brief overview on my uh, very first property that I brought. Um, I'm still currently investing property. We own properties between New Zealand and Australia and the last few years been buying property in Japan, which is uh, very exciting as I love Japan and the snow that's over there in Japan is epic. Um, so yeah, that's what's sort of been drawing me over there. Now doing business and buying property in Japan is all very exciting. Um, but anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. If you enjoyed today's video, give us a little like. Um, and if you want to see some more videos like this moving forward, hit the little subscribe button below. And we will see you in the next video. See ya!